violence against women is not a women's issue. It's a human movement and it's a human issue. And I think up until now, as women, our missed opportunity was inviting these young men to participate. Alexis, tell me about Protector. Protector was really just kind of an opportunity to how can we shift culture around locker room talk by coming in and better, better educating young men on the importance of respecting girls. So I came from the girl empowerment world. I always say that for me, coming from that world, there was a different level of urgency around the sexual assault pandemic that's happening. We know that one in five girls are sexually assaulted on a college campus. And three years ago, Trent Dilfer and Yogi Roth called me and they asked me to come and give a talk to the top 18 high school quarterbacks in the country on the importance of respecting girls. A week later, everything with Ray Rice came out. So when that aired on ESPN, it was just kind of the timing was so perfect and so overnight was hired by Division One locker rooms all over the country to give the same protector talk. Do you ever get pushback from the people who are like, this doesn't, I would never do this, this does not apply, this is almost offensive? The truth is the majority of these guys would never intentionally rape a woman and so to them it feels very unrelatable. What are all the other things that are happening that kind of maintain the systemic problem? Are you making disrespectful jokes? How many girls are you texting at the same time, convincing them that they're the only one? So we talk about a lot of different things, but mainly about why this issue is relevant to them and why we need them to participate. Why do you think it took so long to realize that we need to bring men into this conversation? <sighs> I think I was busy. I think I was busy <laughs> handling the girls. But really it wasn't until the invitation from Trent and Yogi to come and talk to these young men that I kind of had this aha moment. My husband had this brilliant suggestion and he said, you really have to make this issue supremely personal. If I were you, I would pull pictures of their girlfriends and their moms and their sisters from social media and I would put it in your presentation. And now they're staring at pictures of their 16 year old sister and suddenly reframe the issue completely. What do you think about the fact that like, it's not enough to just say, you know, don't assault women. You have to make it personal for people. I think from a psychological standpoint, it's pretty normal that we tend to turn someone into the other. And so I think the fact that they, the majority of them are learning about sex through porn, the fact that they consume 10 hours of media a day, and media that often glorifies violence against women that's inherently disrespectful and hypersexualizing. And I don't think we're necessarily doing a good enough job of teaching young men enough self-respect so that they're actually in a position to treat others with more dignity. Protector and the program you're now creating to kind of you know, do, you can't be everywhere at sure. once. Um, what's your hope with that? We understand that there's a massive demand and that there's 313 major universities under federal investigation for how they've poorly handled sexual assault. So we know that there's a problem. We're trying to offer a solution. So I think for me, the dream scenario is that something like our program, uh, that the NCAA says that that's mandatory. Mm -hmm.